harassment, reminding passengers to keep a watchful eye on their luggage and personal belongings at all times. Good morning. Let's see what we can see this morning. Oh, the flowers are looking nice. Yeah. Our sunflowers kind of a little droopy, but it's got some good blooms on it. Got to change the hummingbird feeder water today. And I got a little bit of seed on that concrete bench because the squirrel likes it there and let's see we got we got the feeders got feed in the feeders for the birds you know nature is such a freeloader just costs me money every day all right let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into Well, everything's looking nice this morning. Steering wheel still looks good to my eye. And uh, we're making progress. Definitely. Man. It's a nice day today. We've had a string of these. Low humidity. No, no trains. Okay, well, I think today at least part of the day I need to do some organization. Boxes of parts. Coffee cans with parts. Coffee cans with bolts. Let's see. Oh man, parts laid on plywood, it's just, man, got to get some organization here. Usually I like to work in a complete and total chaos mess, but, you know, I'm kind of starting to lose stuff, so I at least got to throw it all in one box. Here's my, I have several of these, these, there we go, I call these hardware store in a can, because they're just crap that I've kept over the years, and every once in a while there's something in there that I can actually use, so, yeah. well, enough talk, let's get going here. Okay, let's see what all we got here. Let's see if we can make some sense of this. This is... I uh, don't remember. Oh, this goes between the transmission and the... and the... Uh, output shaft. And this is the felt seals. These are the new uh, rubber, urethane, whatever they are, seals that go inside the axle, sh uh, axle shaft housings. This is the inner seal to keep the uh, gear lube from getting up past the outer bearing. And this is the old style that I'm putting on the outside. This keeps the grease on the outer bearing. So, this is how it, let's see. This is how it goes, like this. So, these are a lot cheaper. But this one's pretty buried once you got it in there, so 
you know, best to have one that's going to last a while. Anyways, that goes in the differential box. Uh, that's how much it costs. Uh, that's another credit card bill. Let's see. Okay. These are for the front wheels. These are the dust covers. The inside bearing. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, and there are some shims. That is a shim set for the crankshaft and uh, connecting rods. We're going to be getting to this pretty darn soon. Boy, this is costing a fortune. Okay, that's crap. What do we got here? Nice. Alright, this is for the steering wheel. I can't lose that. So, what did uh, everyone else spend their government stimulus check money on? <laughs> Hope you spent it wisely like me. Yeah. Yeah. If I put another 10000 in this car, it should be worth at least three. So. Okay. As I am... Uh, kind of organizing things today. I'm also evaluating what parts I have. Well, this is the exhaust manifold. Looks like it came off a yard tractor, doesn't it? A lot of times these are warped. But the good news is there's nothing life ruining here. Yeah. The straight edge lays on there good. So, there's another part that I don't have to try to find or buy new. Man, a little bit of rust. This is the one where the valve was open. That was the worst one. Okay, that's good news. Now, if I can get this off of there, that's going to be the next deal because them are on tighter than the hubs of hell, usually. From what I've heard, from the experts on the interweb, guys that know what they're doing, not guys like me that just, you know, just look at a project and look at a problem and say, what is the cheapest? sketchiest most dangerous way that I can approach this yeah that's my modus operandi okay in my cleaning frenzy frenzy is that how you say it frenzy I found this that goes in here yeah, and does this which replaces the old unit of this and also in a pinch this so yeah that's been missing for I don't know how long have I lived here Yeah. Good morning. Well, we get things all cleaned up in here yesterday and rearranged. 
uh, the next thing we're going to tackle is those 4x4 four four posts there and there's one there no, I guess it's over there anyways we are going to build some kind of a rig to lift that engine up and set it back down on uh, something that I can work on roll the chassis back do what I gotta do roll the chassis back under it um, yeah okay this is what we've got so far at that post post over there this is all gonna need strengthened up but and the ability to roll a car in and out from under it that's what we we're looking for we're tilted a little got a Batman cam going on here and let's see yeah close enough anyways We'll put some strengthening in there and you know some gussets and that should work out. This engine doesn't weigh that much but it's more than I want to. It's more than I want to just pick up and move around especially when the transmission's on it you can't. It does weigh too much then. So let's continue and we'll We'll see what we come up with. Okay, here we go. This is my homemade engine hoist, which I can roll the car. I don't know if I can stand back here for a minute. See the car will roll under there. I gotta come along, I'll put on this. I'm gonna buy a piece of chain at the hardware store today. Rolls under there, engine gets picked up, car gets rolled back to here, and the engine gets set on a bench of some sort that doesn't exist yet. More than likely sawhorses. And uh, reassembled, lifted back up car gets rolled back under and set back down and then next uh, spring the 4x4s four four will probably turn into garden fix, uh, features flower bed edging stuff like that so yeah I mean I, I, I took a shot at making it safe you know, I used real bolts, real bolts out of the uh, mobile hardware store down here. So yeah, and this is either going to work well, or it's going to be a really funny story that people tell at my funeral. So, either way, it's a win-win.
Push it under there. got two head bolts here we will tighten down in there so they got lots of threads on them and here is your standard issue um, pipe flanging, copper pipe flanging tool, which we are going to use for something else because it fits on there just like that. Enough. I don't know if these bolts got any nuts on them or not. Yep. Anybody know how to run a come along? Okay. Now we need a bolt. Ta -da. Okay, this is it. We'll make sure we get this on film. Oh, shit's falling off already.
we can always edit it, you know. <laughs> ha, believe me, I do plenty of that. There she goes. 